Before I get started on this video, I want you all to know that I am almost finished comprising my or putting my old reliable video together. It should be up sometime later tonight or sometime tomorrow night. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this video. What's up, YouTube world? This is Steven again. It is currently 10 a.m. on November 20th of 2022, and I would like to welcome you all to my 22nd story time with Steven. So this story time with Steven is going to be about a moment in my life that was almost fatal, or could have been fatal in a way. So oh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So um, if you don't know or haven't heard about the Beltway sniper attacks, these were sniper attacks and shootings that occurred around October of 2002. So right about 20 years ago, a little over 20 years ago to this day. And these were uh, shootings that took place in Maryland, Washington, D.C., and Virginia. And if a lot of my subscribers know, I live in Virginia. And these were committed by Lee Malvo and John Allen Muhammad. And these were pretty much like based off of their wives or girlfriends or whatever wanting to get a divorce. And um, they didn't like that, so they pretty much went on a killing spree or a shooting spree. And um, they committed these sniper attacks, like I said, in Maryland, D.C., and Virginia. And we heard about it and, you know, weren't really too concerned about, like, when we were in Maryland. Um, we were a little concerned because we do have family, or, yeah, we, we still still do have family who lives in Maryland. And um, what was really concerning was when they made their way to Virginia. And they kept going, like, further south and south and south until they got to pretty close to where I live and and um, that's like gonna lead up to the story so um, we were my dad my dad and I meaning we my dad and I were visiting my uncle who lives in Hanover County and um, my uncle had a couple of friends that were coming I don't know if it was up or down because I don't know where they live um, to Hanover County to where he lives and visiting him and you know we hung out at his house the entire day and when we were going to dinner, um, I'll get to where that was in a minute. Um, so what happened was the sniper, the snipers attacked outside of a restaurant called the Ponderosa. I believe I don't know if it was a steakhouse or what, but let's just say Ponderosa. So they attacked out, attacked and shot a man. I believe it was outside of the Ponderosa, in in. Then I'll get to why that's important in a minute. So um, the four of us decided to go to a place called the Hound's Tooth for dinner. And I don't believe the Hound's Tooth is still open. But once again, beside the point. So we were one of the last two or three, um, I guess, guests into the, house, into the Hound's Tooth. And, you know, we ate. And after we finished eating, we went outside and noticed that there were like two or three police cars outside of the uh outside the hound's tooth and you know what maybe we were thinking that maybe a fight occurred or something occurred outside of the hound's tooth between two of the uh between one or two of the diners that left the hound's tooth but little do we know it was actually it actually had to do with the beltway sniper attacks and and my dad wasn't familiar with the area because we didn't live around that area we lived fairly close but not around the area so um he didn't know any of the back roads and we had to have gone in a circle about three four maybe five times and that's when my dad called my mom and told her that the uh that the sniper attacks happened in hanover county and he said and i don't know where where i'm going and um i was 11 at the time by the way so i was a kid and um he said he didn't know where we were going. He didn't know any of the back roads. He said, "If I make a circle one more time, uh, Stephen and I are just going to are just going to get a, a hotel room for the night and then go back home the following morning when all of this this police activity dies down, because the uh, roads that he knew to go down were blocked off by police, so he couldn't go down those roads. So, like he said, if we go in a circle one more time, Stephen and I are just going to rent a." Uh, run a hotel room for the night and then come back home the uh, following morning so the uh 
I don't know how he found the main road. Once again, I don't know how he got on the main road. But um, he found a way to get back to my uncle's house. And um, then once we got back to um, my uncle's house, that's when he told us um, that the sniper attacks shot a man outside of the Ponderosa. And what was really concerning about this is if we were not able to get into the Houndstooth, and like I said, we were one of the last two or three diners there, if we weren't able to get into the, hou the Houndstooth, our plan B was to go to the Ponderosa. That was what was very scary about that to, for me to think at this time. Once again, at the time I was 11, I, and I didn't really think too, too much about it because I was still kind of young at the time. But yeah, the uh, snipers attacked someone outside of the Ponderosa, which was our plan B restaurant to go to for dinner if the Houndstooth wasn't open. So that makes me thinking, you know, what if that were my uncle's friends? What if that were my uncle? What if that were my dad? What if that were me? What if that person was me or any of those people? And the thing was, um, one of the snipers was actually in the crowd after it happened and he decided to eat a uh, candy wrapper, e e eat a candy bar without any uh, gloves on, and then threw the candy wrapper on the ground. That's evidence. His fingerprints were on that wrapper. Now, I don't know if that's how they caught them or what, but they were caught not too long after that, maybe two or three days after that. And yeah, uh, John Allen Muhammad was sentenced to death. He got the death penalty. Um, Lee Malvo was not old enough at the time to get the death penalty, so he's not going to get the death penalty, but he is spending life in prison. And, yeah, that's about all I have to say about this uh, video. That's the uh, Beltway sniper attacks that occur in Maryland, D.C., and Virginia. And that was, I guess, my near-death experience? I don't know. But, yeah, just um, hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know what y'all thought about this video. And, yeah, that's about it. So, I don't really have anything much else to say, but if you liked what you saw in this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and comment below, and I'll see you guys next time with another video. This is Steven signing out.